The work we do here, I think, is pretty important. We're mainly reducing emissions on legacy engines that are no longer manufactured as new. Then to do so, we have to change the fuel system on the engine. Some of these engines were installed in the 1940s, but they're still pumping gas across the country on the pipeline. The products that Swagelock manufactures and Herbiger actually uses on their engines and compressors has to be at a tolerance inspect that doesn't allow for failure. If there is failure, there can be damage to human life, there can be damage to the environment. The natural gas transmission industry is thought of in three segments, upstream, midstream, and downstream. The midstream, which is the segment that we work with, are the long-haul transporters of the gas. They might pick up gas in Texas and deliver it to New York City. So we sell emissions and performance upgrades to the owners of the large bore gas-fired engines. We modify to perform equal to or better than anything that can be bought new today. There's a lot of financial driver. It's one third or less the cost of replacement to simply upgrade the equipment to meet the most modern standard. We make reductions in NOx emissions that are on the order of 95 to 97%. Uh, we reduce CO emissions on the order of 80 to 90% and generally uh, without any impact on fuel economy. For us, and mostly where swage lock comes into play, we'll change a lot of the fuel systems for those engines. We'll also change the turbocharger, a lot of lubrication lines for turbochargers and new turbochargers that get installed on the unit. You know, it's very demanding. They're working on maybe on a 20-inch pipeline, so these compressors are huge. So when they bring one of those pipelines down, you know, they're working on a tight schedule. Schedule is, is king with them. So when they shut that pipeline down, they've got to go in there and retrofit this compressor engine and be up and running when the compressor company says go. They can't wait an extra day. We're talking hundreds of thousands of dollars if they miss a deadline. We originally reached out to Swage Lock on the custom solution side to ask if they could make some of the specialty parts that we use when we're adapting these fuel injectors to these engines. We need a very straight, very small, very constant diameter path uh, for us to succeed. Initially, uh, we tried to do that connection on our own through local machine shops, and we quickly found some ceiling problems with making the swage lock connection. We decided, well, swage lock knows this connection better than anybody. They're the ones who came up with it. Why not have them make the adapter for us? It was, a, it was a game changer for us because we no longer were having to buy 15 so we could break five and have 10 that worked. We could buy 10 that worked. How Swage Lock pulls it off, I do not know. But uh, they make stuff that works and it doesn't break. We're able to help them with a lot of things. We do pre-assemblies, sub-assemblies for them, do hose advisory services for them. Basically, instead of buying a factory special hose, let's add two inches to it, which works. It's a standard item off the shelf, as well as Building control panels, nitrogen purge panels. Our custom solutions group has been able basically to build that in our shop and bingo, have it ready for them when they want it. The EPA has air standards, national ambient air quality standards, and one of the key things they measure is ozone. And so there's been a tremendous reduction in ozone levels in this country over time, in particular in heavily populated areas with emissions regulations. But even now, as we see this done throughout the pipelines, it's, it's impacting the people that have moved nearer and nearer to these sources. Air is not stagnant. The air that's in Georgia started somewhere over here in Texas, or the air that's in Ohio came from California or Mexico. All along that way, it's picking up everything that's going on in between. And so the cleaner the air is, the better for everybody. And to be able to benefit the environment and the people that live on the planet is just, uh, it's, it makes me happier and very proud of what I do.